Hello everybody. How are you? Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So um, yeah, the sun's come out. It was a bit drab earlier. Um, so the, the weather's been very temperamental of late. Um, but I think we'll get on. Okay. So today I'm going to be talking about um, getting sort of eighties type sounds. Um, I'm trying to do that on a budget. Um, now there's a recent video by LA Sound Design featuring Tim Pierce and uh, Dave Phillips um, and they were going through those sort of big refrigerator size effects racks that, that were popular in the 80s. Very expensive of course. Um, but things have come on a long way um, since since the 80s um, and you can actually get, you know, for, for quite... You know, for, um, yeah, you actually get quite a lot uh, for, for for not very much money these days, you know, because because we're so familiar with what those sounds are that a lot of the key um, pedal manufacturers they've put out a pedal which will reproduce that, but you know, so you don't have to spend that much money. So um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, now starting with this guitar, this is um, an '80s Ibanez Roadster. I think I've talked about it before. It's got 80s pickups in it, which um, uh, which I think it might help with the sound. Although you could use like a strap or a telly or um, you know uh, something like that. It's probably best on like a like a single coil guitar. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so um, so at the moment um, no effects or anything. Uh, I'm going to talk you through uh, what the actual setup is. So. Um, I'll give you another guided tour. Right, so let's see uh, what are we doing here. Right. Okay. So, so I'm not using the uh, I'm not using the Van Halen wire. I was going to save that for another day. I am using this uh, Dynacomp compressor, but that seems to be key to the sound. Um, I mean, you'll see what I mean as as we as we progress. Okay. From there, I'm going into this. Um, Marshall Governor pedal. I'm using that as like an overdrive. Um, I've chosen that one because you can pick these up quite cheaply these days. You can pick them up second hand but they're not that expensive anyway. Um, I'll talk a little bit about adapters. Um, I mean I, I need to get a bigger um, ex extension lead I think. <laughs> um, now that's, that's my amplifier. These I spot, these are very good because you can you can run multiple pedals off those. However, some of the pedals can be quite greedy. So, so the more greedy ones, I'm running these two adapters um, just so that we don't have any um, power outage or um, or other problems. Okay, so from the governor, then we're, I'm going into this um, this love pedal. Yeah, love pedal custom effects uh, deluxe. Um, which is basically it's like a Fender Deluxe in a in a box, um, but there's a lot of these amp in a box type pedals out there. So you you know um, it's just down to preference, and in fact you can actually use the cleans. Uh, on, I mean I'm using a Boss Katana, so you can actually use the cleans on that, and I'll, and I'll show you that in a, in a in a moment. To show you what, what we can actually come up with. Uh, okay, so I'm using this um, TC Electronic Thunderstorm. Um, that's a flanger pedal. Um, Teach electronic third dimension, but I'm on button four because the um, the chorus effect in the 80s it was very prominent. Um, I'm not using a phaser because there seems to have been a reaction in the 80s against uh, phasers um, because they they seem to be more associated with uh, like the 70s. So there was a clear reaction against. Um, against the 70s um, and you can actually hear that a lot in, in, in the music. Uh, I'm using this uh, delay today which is a flash, it's a TC Electronic flashback. Uh, now you can get a mini version and you can actually get a bigger version as well um, but these are quite these are quite affordable I mean they're around £100 or you can get them used for less uh, it just depends. Um, that's uh, that's just set up. Um, I'm probably not going to be using that, um, but sometimes it's useful to have a couple of delays, either as a back one for a backup, or just to have uh, a couple 
just with two different settings. Uh, and I'm using the um, this marine layer reverb on like a hall setting, uh, and then all that lot uh, goes into the uh, into the katana, um, and that's basically my setup. So, uh, so I think we'll yeah. I'll, we'll, Okay, all right. Can you see me okay? Good, good. Right, so no effects at all. Um, I'm going into Boss Katana. Now, because I'm using this uh, deluxe pedal, I've got that on the acoustic setting. Um, so I'll put that in. That um, gives me a nice sort of cleanish sound. Bit of grit there, but I mean, you don't have to use a katana. I mean, you know, any any amp that you've got that will give you a, a clean or a slightly sl slightly pushed clean. Uh, put the Dynacomp in. See, it's a very recognisable sound that um, that Dynacomp. If we take it off, that's, that's that. see how it adds that. So, um, so yeah, it's a very, it's a very characteristic sound that like a lot of players have used those. Um, so it's worth sticking with um, with what with what those players have used. Okay, so from there, oh, actually. Um, no, no. Uh, I think I think we'll carry on. Uh, I'll put some chorus in. See how prominent that is. Okay. Uh, I'll leave it on. Delay. So uh, I'm on the um, on the on the what's known as the mod setting on the flashback. Um, we'll just to give it that sort of sound, and then when I put the reverb in, then that kind of completes it. So um, so as promised, if I um, if I turn the deluxe off. I use the Dynacomp as uh, boost the output on that, and then uh, use the Katana's clean. Then we get. one you actually prefer um, but uh, so I'm gonna go back to using this deluxe but you know like I say the, the, that clean is very good isn't it you know um, so we so we could do that uh, and then um, then we get into playing some uh, playing some things which you might familiar, be familiar with I mean like the obvious one is that that Andy Summers cut <laughs> Or did he actually rip it off from the Beatles, like Hard Day's Night? I don't know. Now, for, for copyright reasons... <laughs> It's sort of nice 80s. Uh, I feel I should have a like a mullet and um, a, a suit with like big shoulder pads and. Uh... Yeah. So. Um... But then uh, we can do sort of.
compare the uh, the chorus and the flanger, the flanger is more it's a bit more swishy. It's good for reggae, I think. Um, That. Now if I um, roll the volume off a bit um, and I use the governor as my drive, so I'm, that's a, like that's my equivalent of like a hot rodded amplifier. <laughs> some like chorus on that. sort of Gilmore-y um, but you know I mean, obviously I'm not going to be start playing Pink Floyd Lakes because of copyright reasons etc but anyway but that gives me a, that gives me a sort of a nice range of sounds uh, let's see what else can we do before we before we close I mean uh, let's see now we're using a chorus you get some sort of Johnny Marr type sounds. Um. Yeah, that there. Uh, you think I'm probably going to get a tremolo pedal at some point, but. The katana's got a built-in tremolo, so uh, let's whack it all the way round, and then we get like that. So we can do that. Uh, and then I've noticed that if we actually let's put that on around um, sort of one o'clock ish. Um, then we get this sort of weird sort of delay. Well, like the the, um, the delays of they've gone out of phase with each other. So that's um, 
that's quite useful. So. Uh, and then of course there's um, things like uh, Keep it quite brief. Uh, I mean, I'd you know, I'd love to do this uh, all day, but uh, but for now, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it brief. Um, any thoughts? Um, please comment below. Um, please consider subscribing. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see by way of a video as well, um, then let me know. I'll, I'll do my best to, to try and do it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.